here's a review on multiple representations. In class, we talked about being able to represent data in more than one way. Pictures, tables, algebraically, and graphs. Here's an example that will show you how to do all four. The Warren Booster Club is having a fundraiser. In order to enter the fundraiser, which is a craft fair, it will cost $5 per person. Every item then is only $2. Complete the multiple representations chart to represent the situation above. The first thing we need to do is identify our independent and dependent variable. Remember the dependent variable is going to depend on something to change the answer. So in this case, the total amount spent is going to depend on how many items this person has purchased. So the dependent variable again is total amount spent. Where the independent variable is going to be the number of items that you have purchased. The number of items is then going to change how much money this person has spent. One way of representing data is a concrete representation. This is drawing a picture to represent it in the real world. So let's say, if we give two examples, we're going to say somebody walks into the fundraiser but doesn't buy anything, and then they only buy one item. So let's say Mr. Zabo walks into the craft fair. He is looking around and looking around. Even though he spent $5 to get in, he does not see anything he likes, so he leaves. In this instant, Mr. Zabo only spent $5. He comes back again, has to pay $5 to get in again, but he sees an item that he likes. He sees a basketball ornament. That basketball ornament is $2. So in this case, he spent $7. If you continue to draw different items, your price is going to continue to go up. So let's come up with an algebraic representation, which is coming up with the function rule. First, we need two variables. Let's use t and i. T is going to be the total amount spent, which is also your dependent variable. Your I is going to be the number of items. So here, your total amount, your total is always going to be equal to something. In order to walk in, you must pay $5 plus $2 for every item that you have purchased. So you're going to multiply 2 times I. This is your function rule. That is something you're going to carry on now to complete your numeric representation, which is a table. One thing I like to do is write my function rule right here, 5 plus 2i, because then I'm going to show all my work. So my total, if I only purchased one item, is going to be $5 plus 2 times 1. Well, 2 times 1 is 2, plus the $5 to get in is $7, which we represented right there. If I wanted to purchase three items, I'm still paying the $5 to get in, but I'm going to pay $2 each for three items. So 2 times 3 is 6, wherein if I buy three items, I will be spending 11 if I purchase nine items, it still costs five dollars to get in. Two dollars per item, and I'm buying nine. So two times nine is eighteen plus five dollars, which would then make me pay twenty-three dollars. Sorry if there was a glitch before. We can take this and represent it in a graph. Make sure you're always labeling axes and give a title. So I'm going to say Craft Fair Fundraiser. Our 
x-axis is going to represent the number of items, and our y-axis is going to represent the total amount. When we label our axes, make sure you try to space them evenly and go up by the same amount. You can't skip from 1 to 4. So you would, I'm going up by 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And dollar amounts, I'm going to go up by 2. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. We can take the information that we gathered here, both in the concrete representation and the numeric. Because let's look at this. If you bought no items, how much money did you spend? Well, here's zero. You still spent $5 to get in. Where if you bought one item, it was $7. Then we jumped to three items for $11 and nine items for 23. Three items for $11 and nine items for 23. This should give us a pretty close to a straight line, depending how evenly your, your lines were spaced. But other than that, that's how you represent all of your information on a multiple representations graph. I hope this helped. Good luck.